Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt my first ever 24 hour readathon. Um, it's going really well so far. I was supposed to start at 10 and then I didn't. And then I was supposed to start at 12 and I didn't. And then I thought 12.30 and I, I, I still haven't. And the time is now 12.42. Look at my beautiful little girl. Look at her little face, I love her. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to start at one now because I've dilly-dallied so much. I can't do anything on time. That's one fun thing about me. Um, I'm either very early or late, so that's good, isn't it? So what I aim to read today is A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. I absolutely love this cover. Wow! So this is the second book in a duology. So the first book is A River Enchanted and I read that about a year ago when it came with my Illumicrate box and I really enjoyed that so I just got the standard edition. I was looking for this in shops for ages and I couldn't find it and then it was about two, three weeks ago I saw it on the shelf and I was ever so excited so I had to get it of course. This is a fantasy book set in Scotland. I think it's the Scottish Isles so maybe somewhere like Sky or Isla, who knows. And it's based on these two clans. So there's the Eastern clan and the Western clan, the Tamerlanes and the Breckens. They don't get on very well at all, no. And they have a magic line that waves in between their two clans. And it also has quite a musical element to it. So there's lots of girls that are going missing in the Eastern clan, in the Tamerlane clan. And the bard, who is a very, very good bard, who was like left ages ago, like, bye, I'm going onto the mainland to study. He needs his calling upon because music means you can speak to the spirits and ask them, what's up, man? What's going on? Why are you doing this to me? That kind of thing, you know, but maybe not in a New York accent. There's lots of different um, interesting magical systems that go on within here. So I'm very excited to carry on the story. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. I won't spoil anything for you, um, but the thing I love most about this series is the nature side. It's very cottage core, I'd say, and also there's such a big emphasis on music as well, which I really like. Obviously, having a degree in music, which I mention in every video, I feel like you just talk about it too much. Anyway, I'm going to get started at one o'clock. One, that's two. One, um, and we'll see how I get on. Will I survive? We'll find out. Cakes. Hello everybody. So it's quite some time later. It is 4.55. 5 to 5. Um, four hours later, in fact. Look at that mathematics. I'm currently around page 200 in A Fire Endless. The thing I really like about this book, well there's lots of things I really like about it, but let's just talk about the characters. Um, in terms of each individual character, I don't think they're very different from each other. Like there's not really any standout personalities I don't think. But the thing I like the most about the characters is the relationships between one another. They're just kind of like normal people, the characters, you know. There's, in some books you get these really um, extroverted or interesting or just very strange people um, which aren't really representative of real life but are still like fun. Um, this is a very serious book I feel like in, uh, sometimes but I'm still enjoying it. I think it's very good and the detail I love detail I love details about setting I love details about how people look like look at my little white necklace I, I'd love that if someone wrote a book about my white necklace well maybe not about my white necklace but if they spoke about it you know it's those little fine details that I really enjoy so I'm very much enjoying it so far will I give it a five stars I haven't given a book five stars in about six months so I really hope this is a five star please 
things but so far so good um, I'm enjoying the plot as well the plot is really kicking in now lots of good stuff's happening so we'll see how we get on and let's hope I read a bit more because 70 pages in four hours isn't that much so we'll see I also watched the F1 qualifying and now I'm sad well not that sad but I'm a Hamilton fan and it's, I want him to be first I want him to be pole on everything <sighs> never mind but now I've got a Zoom meeting with my um, group for my group project at uni so I'm going to go and do that. I'm not going to film because it's a bit weird filming people who I don't really know so yes, adios. Listen back on Going for the stop, 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 stop. This is awful lighting. I do apologise. Why am I so orange, man? Uh, I don't know. What is this line on my... I don't, I don't know. Anyway, the time is... Um, quarter past nine. Oh, you can see my lamp in the reflection. <laughs> uh, we're a third of the way in. I haven't really been doing too well. I've been distracted. I went on a trampoline. But, you know, never mind. I'm currently 100 pages in. No, I'm not. I'm, I've read 100 pages. I'm this far through, so like in the middle. Wow. Well, I'm in the middle of my book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. It's good. It's very good. The plot is like bum 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 bum. There's lots of intertwining plot lines and character relationships, and it's all going on. And. I'm just having a good time. I want to read it. I want to read more of it. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Plot heavy, which I'm really enjoying. And uh, it's been a long time since I felt like this for a book that you're going to run out of charge. But I'm enjoying myself and I'm going to put you in charge now. Goodbye. I can't help it. I just love the cheese text. The cheese text. Please stop. I'm trying to read my book. <laughs> <laughs> the cheek oh sorry <laughs> oh I just can't help it cheesy wheezy okay shut up now Hello everyone, I'm going to talk a bit quieter because Tom's in bed now, but it is half eleven, I'm already very tired, um, I'm currently on page 266, so I've read 130 pages so far, um, we're not even halfway yet, we've got loads of time. But I've made the bed up downstairs and I'm in my pyjamas. So we'll see how we get on for the rest of the time. But I'm having a nice time so far.
Hello everybody. It's the morning after. Um, I need my sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I went to bed about 20 to 1 last night. Uh, I didn't really do, I did a bit of reading but not a huge amount, maybe like an hour or two hours worth. Um, and then I thought, I'm real tired. And you know when you're tired and you do this and you're like, uh, and you're trying to read but your eyes are doing this and then it all blurs and then you... yeah I was doing that I'm a big baby this is what I've learnt from this so I thought you know what I'll go to bed I went upstairs to, in my real bed and went to bed and then I thought right I'll set an alarm for five o'clock and then I can wake up early and do some reading I set my alarm for five I woke up at five and then I went back to sleep. I woke up at five this morning feeling very sick and I just couldn't function. So I went back to sleep. Look how backlit I am. It's as good as good. Um, so yeah, uh, what I've learned is I obviously can't do 24 hour readathons because I just need my needs more. You, that doesn't make any sense. And I, I have my needs, which is sleep. And if I don't sleep, I get ill. So there we go. I've still got this much left of the book. Am I going to finish it in time? I've got three hours. Um, it's a race to the finish, definitely. Am I going to make it? We'll see. Um, I might go outside for a bit of fresh air, just to walk around the garden to re-enliven myself a little bit first. I have done some reading in bed this morning, which I didn't film, but oh, it's getting good. It's good. I like it. Like I've been saying, it's very, very plot driven at the moment, which I'm really enjoying. And it's very high stakes and things keep on happening to the characters that just adds to their stress. And I feel secondhand stress for them. It's, oh, it's, everyone's going to die, basically. Um, they're not really, but are they? I don't know. We need to find out. <laughs> Someone's going to die. Who's it going to be? I also love the connection with nature and how um, one of the characters is really starting to appreciate the nature around them and the flowers. Um, the spirits kind of control nature in a way as well in this book. So you can't just pick a flower because it's part of the spirit if you pick the flower. You have to think about the spirit and, you know, ask the spirit, can I take this from you? Rather than just like, oh, I'm going to take this from. And I think that's a lesson we can all learn. Hello, the time is, oh my god, it's quarter past 11, um, mm, I've got two, no, I haven't even got two hours, I've got one hour and 45 minutes left, and I've got about 100 pages left, mm, can I do it, I'm stressed, um, oh my god, something very significant just happened in the story, 
um, something was revealed about one of the main characters that I had never even thought of and now I'm very excited. This book, you know like the Hunger Games where it ends on a cliffhanger, every chapter ends on something you're like, oh I need to know more about that. This is what this book is and I'm having a lovely time. So I need to I need to read some more. That's how much I've got left now. <sighs> I'm stressed. I'm excited. I'm anxious. I'm all the things. But I'm really enjoying it and I haven't felt this way about a book in a very long time. So I'm excited I've chosen this one for this readathon. It is a bit on the lengthy side for a 24 hour readathon, but it's unput da unput unput downable. Why do I feel like I'm missing a syllable out of there? Maybe because I'm so tired. Oh my god, there's blue in the sky. Oh, it's all happening. It's great. Wow. Excellent stuff. But I need to get cracking if I'm going to make it in time. Okay, let's see if I can do it. See you, bud. So, I'm a bit overdue, it's 2.03, but I finished it. I feel so drained now, I'm so drained I just have no enthusiasm. This is a five star book, that's my review. So, it's a very very good conclusion, I didn't finish it in time, but it, I still really enjoyed it. I think the best bit about the book was, there's two things that I really like. Oh, well, there's a few things. Um, I really like the relationships between all the characters. Um, their love for each other, their hatred for each other. Um, it's very poignant. And I also really like how in this book we enter worlds that we didn't in the first book. And it was very interesting to see those worlds, say like the spirit world. Um, we went into the east a bit as well. So that was very nice to open up different settings as well. And the magic, I love the magic system, I love the spirits, how the spirits of fire, wind, earth, what was the other one? Water, oh yes of course. You can tell that the author likes nature and enjoys growing flowers in her garden, I think that was what's on her bio. She can be found reading or in her garden where she grows wildflowers and story ideas. So I think you can tell that she loves her wildflowers. I love wildflowers. If you like flowers, then you'll like this. But also, I love the music element as well, and the importance of music in this world. I liked it. It was very good. <laughs> so, that's it. I finished, I finished it. I finished the vlog. Um, will I be doing this again, a 24-hour readathon? I'm not sure. I feel quite destroyed right now. You didn't even stay up. I, d I didn't even stay up in the night and I'm exhausted and you slept after your alarm you okay let's not let's not look at the negatives <laughs> let's <laughs> let's look at the positives I had a good time I finished a good book a five star book now I'm probably going to have a nap or some caffeine maybe both who knows thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then I'm very grateful I may be considering subscribing to my channel if you made it this far. If you made it this far, leave a fire emoji and I will send you an applaud for making it this far. Applaud? That's not a oh, word. Okay, I'm going to be quiet now and have a nap. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.